Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. So I'm here to talk about my on-the-go tea bottles, and I love these bottles. They took me two months to come up with and to design and to work with my distributor. So there's a lot of things. If you're a tea connoisseur, then you know about on-the-go tea bottles. You guys can get these at any tea vanna, Starbucks, things like that. But one thing I hated about a lot of the on-the-go tea bottles out there is that I felt like the holding, like where you put the tea in, um, the filters, I feel like the holes were just too big. If you guys see these, you guys can look through here. So these holes are really big. So I wanted something where the holes would be a lot smaller and that there wouldn't be a bunch of tea flakes because when the point of having tea on the go is that you don't have time to double strain. And if you're drinking tea and there's flakes floating around, sometimes you might get tea leaves or spearmint leaves stuck in your teeth. So that's what I really wanted to work on. I wanted to make my bottles different from the ones that you can get at the store. So this is the main difference. My bottles come in four different colors. You can get one in gold, silver, or black, or in a rose gold. Um, they have lovely tea on here, and it says we are gathered here to sip some lovely tea. It has my lovely tea logo. Um, and they come in these really cool canisters right here. And it says on here, we are gathered here today to sip some tea. So these canisters are beautiful, and the top has a tea kettle. And then you see my logo. So these are fun for decoration as well. So they come in this sturdy canister. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make some on-the-go tea and show you guys the difference between my tea bottles and the other guys. So the main difference with my on-the-go tea bottles is as you guys can see, my mesh holes are literally invisible. They are super, super tiny. And I'm gonna pour some water in here. I'm gonna put some of my wellness tea in both of these and pour some water and then you guys will see the difference, okay? So this is how mine works. You just unscrew it and it can hold a lot of tea, but our tea is very strong, very powerful. So all you're gonna need is a teaspoon of tea. If you wanna add two teaspoons, you're more than welcome to, but the tea is very potent. It has a really good flavor. I'm gonna also add one teaspoon of tea to this as well and show you guys the difference. So like I said, you unscrew this and I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my energy, my wellness energy tea. And this is like a really nice spearmint tea. It's really beautiful. It smells really good. And you guys can see that. It's whole leaf tea. There's flowers in here and everything else. So what I'm gonna do is just pour a teaspoon into the canister here. And then what you do, you basically take this, you screw it back on, and it has like a little nice handle. So you take the handle and you push it in there and you'll hear it click. So you push that in there and I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna put in a teaspoon of tea into here as well. So this canister is a little bit smaller and you can see it's already falling. You can already see the tea falling through the holes. So that's the main difference between mine and the other guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in its respectable spot. I'm gonna push this down in here to lock it in. So now I'm gonna go ahead and screw this on here. And mine's already in there, so I don't have to screw anything. So now I'm gonna go in and pour some water. And this water is hot, it's straight out the microwave. And I'm gonna show you guys the difference. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there and we're gonna let that seep, okay? And so with mine, I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in and this holds over 15 ounces of liquid. Most on-the-go tea bottles only hold 12. So this holds a good amount of liquid. And it also keeps heat or coolness. So you can also make iced tea in these and it'll keep the heat for up to six hours and it'll keep it cool for up to six hours as well. Everything is double barrel. So even though this water in here was piping hot, you can't feel any of that in here. So we're gonna go ahead and let these seep. And sometimes I like to shake my stuff. So as you see, as I'm shaking both of these, nothing is coming out in mine. 
The only thing it's doing is seeping. Whereas with this one, there's a lot of little things in there floating, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with stuff floating around. But the problem is when it's on the go, you don't want like, you know, leaf pieces, you know, stuck to your teeth and things like that. And because you're on the go, you don't have time to double strain. So this stops all of the double straining. You just put the tea leaves in there and then you're good to go. It, and it also fits in the cup holder of your car. And like I said, um, once it's done seeping, you just pour it into a cup. You can also drink from here, but be very careful because this holds a really hot temperature. So you don't want to burn yourself. So it's probably better if you pour it and then, you know, blow into it. But if you don't have a cup, you can sip from here, but just, you know, be very cautious. And you can see it's already seeping. Both of them are, but, but you can see the main difference is that there's not any tea leaves, any spearmint leaves, nothing floating around in here whatsoever. So I worked really hard to design this bottle. And I like the fact that it's even bigger than most on the go tea bottles. This is about 12 ounces. This is about 15 and a half ounces. And like I said, um, it lasts you at least six hours. It will hold the heat in and it will also hold like cold iced tea for up to six hours as well. So if you guys want this, you guys can purchase it on the website. Um, there's four different colors to choose from.